Hey, the Gadget Man here with nothing but gadgets, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the settings and setup on the Togart H100 4K trail camera. So, three, two, one, let's get at it. Okay, guys, I'm just this is a simple tutorial. Uh, guide to help you navigate the menu system and the settings on the Togard H100 trail camera. So let's go ahead and you first you got to install your batteries and turn it on. So we'll just turn it to the settings and wait for it to boot up. So the first thing that comes up is your language selection. You have choice of English, French, um, Spanish, Portuguese, Dutch, Italian, and I don't read those languages there, but there's quite a few languages, so let's just choose English. And then you have your date, so it's uh, 2021, and it is, today is August 31st. Um, the time of the day, let me grab my watch here, is 3.34, so... We'll go to 3.34, see if it has a hold the button down to go up. Okay, and see what seconds it are. Okay, well, actually it just put there, and we can even adjust the seconds right there. Okay, and we're done. All right, now, to get into the menu system... Just press there, and our first deal is mode. So mode is set to photo, and we have option for photo to take photos or to just to take videos or photo video. I like to set it to take photos and video. All right, so your PIR interval is how long it's going to wait between each time it's activated and it takes pictures um, before it becomes active again and will sense motion. So it's set to 30 seconds. That's a little short for me. I use mine for wildlife viewing. Uh, so I'm going to actually set it over here to 10 minutes. Uh, because you don't want like a whole bunch of pictures of the same animal. So I'm going to take out those seconds there. Okay. All right. Next, PRI sensitivity. Now this is how sensitive the sensors are going to be uh, to sense motion. Motion. I always start with high, and then if you get too many false positive where it's just taking pictures of nothing, I move it down from there. But I always start in high. Okay? Time lapse. Now, um, if you turn time lapse on, you're going to turn off the sensor. It will not function with the sensor. Time lapse allows you to set it to record at certain times of the day uh, on an interval. So if you set it to 30 seconds, every 30 seconds it's going to take a picture. Now you can adjust that to hours, minute, uh, hours or minutes um, between each picture, depending on how long you're going to do a time lapse. 30 seconds is a great setting to actually make video out of time lapse, where it's a little smoother. But one minute, you can go five minutes, whatever. I'm not going to use this function here. Um, I'm going to turn it off, but uh, because that's for a different thing. Okay, these are the infrared lights which are set to auto okay you have auto economy or off all right so the lights are what's going to come on at night whenever the camera is activated auto should uh sense the brightness and adjust the lights um to whatever is needed so if there's an animal a long ways away they should get brighter if something's really close they should get uh they should dim down so they don't overexpose economy is just going to make it low where it's not very bright at all, and off is not, you're not gonna have any at all. So uh, let's, let's just leave it to auto. Low battery night shot, no uh, infrared light. So this is, when the batteries get low, the infrared lights, when they come on, they draw a lot on the batteries. And so when the batteries get lower, um, it, it takes a lot of power to turn those lights on, and sometimes it messes the camera up so what it's saying here is that when the battery gets low you're telling it not to turn the infrared lights on uh, you can actually take that off if you want 
Um, it's a unique setting for this camera. I've never seen it before. Monitoring period. All right, so this setting right here allows you to tell the camera to turn on at a certain time and turn off at a certain time. So say you wanted the camera to work between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. You could start it here, set it to 9, 6 a.m. Okay, and then you could set this to turn off at 9 a.m. But let's say you want it to work in the evening from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Well, you could do a second time. So it has two periods of the day that you can set it to. Um, I'm not going to be using this setting, so I'm going to turn it off. Right there. Turn it off. Turn it. Okay, side PRI setups. If you want these little side things to work, little side um, sensors to work, which kind of act like a pre-sensor to kind of wake the camera up and get it ready to take a picture. So if an animal's moving in, it kind of says, camera, get ready. There's, there's something moving in. And then when it hits this sensor, it takes a picture so there's no delay. That's what those are for. So um, I always leave those on. So there. Now we've finished this first menu. So now we're going to move over to the next column right here, which is your image column. Um, this has a 30 megapixel camera so let's set it up there to maximum quality and select that there number of pictures um, it can take from one to ten photos um, I'm gonna go ahead with three photos right there you can set the shutter speed the faster the shutter speed the less motion blur you get um, the slower the shut shutter speed the more motion blur, but the, the better it works in low light. So fast shutter speeds are great for bright environments. Slow shutter speeds are better for low light. Um, and uh, so I'll set it at 30 because it helps reduce motion blur. All right, resolution for your video is set to 4K at uh, 30 frames per second. And it has 2K that the uh, 2596 1080p 7 uh, 20p 480p and 360p so let's go ahead and set it at maximum 4k all right we have the default settings which we already went through now it's important that when you use a trail camera that you put a sd card in it and you format the card in the camera my favorite cards to use are the Samsung Evo Select cards right here. Um, I've never had any trouble trouble with them in my trail cameras. They're the most widely compatible. So let's go ahead and insert the card right down here. Format the card. All data will be deleted. Yes, always format your SD cards in the camera. And uh, you can, here's a time format. If you want 12 hour, which I prefer over military time, I'll do that right there. And there you go. There are all the settings on the Togart H100 camera. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying, I'll see you later.